I'm about to break your GTR virginity, Rick. <laughs> I'm stoked, man. I've always loved these things. What is up, guys? Yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we're just gonna jump right into it. First off, we are taking Rick for a ride in the GTR. Rick has never been in a GTR. I've never been in R32, 33, or 34. I've well, been in like a new GTR. I'm about to blow your mind with a 30 year old car, Rick. I'm stoked, man. Exception of just like a cabin. Yeah, I can hear the cabin. Good. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah. It sounds so good. Yeah, I love RV motors. Car. The exhaust, you know, is very restricted due to like the turbos and the, Makes and sense. the downpipe and stuff, but it still sounds really good. So anyways, we have two different sets of mods today that we're doing to the GTR. Both of them are really not that big and don't make a huge difference, but for me, it's something that I definitely need. And actually in this box is something very cool and actually really, really rare from Japan. I've been searching for one forever, but for some reason I am just in love with these. So I'll go ahead and show you what it is. So for the small mod, first up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. We have an authentic JDM Tommy Kara shift knob. These are actually super rare. So if you don't know, Tommy Kara was a tuning shop that was created in Japan. They made really limited runs of all of their things. They have like a one in 300 Tommy Kara edition Skyline GTR, just little things like that. So I found this shift knob on one of the Instagram accounts that I follow that sell like really rare JDM stuff. And we're gonna put this in the GTR today. It's super, super heavy. I think it weighs in around like 550 grams, but this thing is dope and you can read on the top it says the racing spirit tuned by tommy kara japan which is dope. it's a good job it's a good thing <sighs> So now we get to replace this old stock R32 shift knob. This is like some some TJ spec. What are you gonna put the new the, the new London Company shift knob on there, Doug? Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say something mean, but you know what? I'm not. This is a nice feel. Knob. Just feel. Just feel. Oh, that's heavier than what you curl at the gym. This is about the size of the. Uh... Never mind. <laughs> oh, these shifts are about to be creamy. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love shift knobs. This thing is really heavy, makes the gears feel really good. This transmission is super good condition, so it's still very notchy. It's awesome. So if you appreciate Rage ADM stuff, I know you guys will like this. The weight difference between stock versus the Tommy Kara shift knob is unbelievable. This literally weighs nothing and this is super heavy. So very excited to start driving with this. Like I said, everything in this car, I want to be very, very authentic and very just like legit, even down to the very bare accessories, such as a shift knob. I'm trying to do everything as best as possible. So the accessories make a car to me. So I think this is really cool. And last but not least for today, we do have a new head unit. I am taking my car to San Francisco this weekend, which is like an eight hour drive and currently the head unit that I have now doesn't have Bluetooth or like a USB port to charge your phone with so went ahead bought one of these and we're gonna do this today and hopefully get this thing installed and we're good to go for the eight hour drive Ooh. so like I said just a really basic head unit this is the one they came with it when I bought the car, but as you can see, there's no like USB port and this doesn't have Bluetooth either. This is gonna fix that problem. Me and Mickey are gonna road trip this thing, which is actually gonna be pretty fun, taking this thing all the way to San Francisco. I'll actually definitely get some really cool shots out there, so I'm excited for that, but definitely need some tunes for that long ass ride. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Today here I have Dr. Mick and- Oh, hey. Dr. Mick helping me out the wiring master because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to oh all of, all of this. Sick cigarette lighter hookup. We're just gonna go ahead and leave that alone. Probably a good idea. Ooh, just a good set of wires. 
I'm just hoping that the stereo wiring doesn't look like the cigarette lighter wiring. This gives me like anxiety back here, dude. Don't worry, your doctor's here, brother. <laughs> well, I'm no wiring genius, but I have wired up a few stereos before, so I do know that these are our speaker wires. The white and gray, the green and purple are always your speaker wires, so your four corners of speakers. You've got power, switch power, a remote control, so this would go to your amp. This is what turns your amp on when you turn your car on, or your stereo on. The stereo power tells the amp to turn on, and this is a ground, so this is gonna get crowned to the chassis. Um, so all we have to do is um, take the old harness, as they've already done this. This is an aftermarket component that plugs into the factory harness. Cut off the old head unit harness and wire into these guys, so it should be pretty easy. So Mickey's going ahead and soldering up all the wires to their corresponding other wires for the harness. Once he does that, we'll actually be able to go ahead and just plug it right into the new head unit, plug everything back into the GTR, and we should have a new working unit with Bluetooth and the USB port so me and Mickey can jam. Hey, we'll be rolling in style, brother. Eight hours up to San Francisco. Ooh. All right, moment of truth. There she is. The doctor is in. The doctor is in. Language. We got power. Should we put it on Japanese? <laughs> Please no. <laughs> oh, USB baby. We are good to go. We're gonna set this up and then I'll show you guys. Oh man, we have audio in here. There we go. Speakers aren't very good, but at least we got audio, guys. Now, I still do have the JDM mixtape in here, but at least we can play regular music and we can charge our phones in here. So that was a success. Okay guys, we are finally back home. I know today's video was a super short and simple video, but I have been super, super busy getting ready for Spocom as well as this weekend's drop. Speaking of that, we do have a Legends Media end of summer restock going on August 19th. In this restock, we are bringing everything back that you guys see on the site, including two new items. For those two new items, we do have this one Legends Media shirt, really awesome, as well as this hat. Sorry, this is really wrinkly because it's dirty, but this is my favorite product I think we've ever released, my favorite hat ever, and then this awesome shirt, as well as you guys have asked me a billion times when the Grim Reaper shirt is coming back. We are bringing that shirt back again, but this time in black instead of white. So be sure to set your calendars for August 19th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when the drop is gonna go live. Once that stuff is gone, it's gone. We're making room for the new drop going on in September with new designs, so if there's anything that you want on the site be sure to grab it and remember these two awesome new items as well thank you guys very much for watching once again i apologize for this video being so short and simple but just know the content to come is really really awesome get ready to see the new gtr setup as well as this week we are making a custom exhaust for the car and it's gonna be gonna be good you guys just wait so i'll see you guys in the next one peace out